Hi, so today we are going to be doing a summer haul of summer clothing I got. Um, it is all from Shein. So I know a lot of people have a problem with Shein. I have a problem with Shein. I do believe that there's no such thing as um, ethical consumption under capitalism at all. Although we are not here for a discussion of capitalism because that would take us a very long time because I will rant about it. Um, I will say that my bigger problem with Shein hauls are the people that do like a thousand dollars worth of stuff. I bought a few sundresses um, and outfits because I've lost a lot of weight and I can't afford to go to like one of the boutiques in town and our thrift stores we have a couple of them but there are usually like multi-hour lineups to get into them and I, I don't I can't do that I can't line up for hours at a time just to get in to try to buy something that may or may not be there um, so I did order from Shein um, it's not a huge haul so it's not like this isn't one of those videos where you're gonna see $900 worth of clothing um, that people are gonna wear once these are summer clothes that I'm gonna wear all summer it's very hot I want to wear some cute stuff it is what it is I'm sorry for the people that hate Shein um, also, I'm sorry for the lighting. I don't, I cannot set up a light that's gonna blast me with heat. So we have whatever natural lighting we have. Um, it, it's just, it's too hot. It is too hot. I'm sure my hair is gonna be in a ponytail by the end of this because I just can't handle the heat right now. Um, and we don't have air conditioning. So let's get on into the haul. So the first thing is just a cute little A-line summer dress. It's got um, like a sort of ruffly pattern and then it's got eyelets all over it. It's in a light blue. I've been into blue lately. I really only wear a few colors. Blue is one of them. Um, so that's just a cute little dress. Okay, so I like the color. Um, it fits a bit weird in the shoulder. Like not too small, it's just the seams. I don't know, it's a little odd. Um, I do love the color. I think it's really pretty. I don't really have too much to say about it. I mean, I love the, like, the eyelets. It is a teensy bit see-through now that I am close to the camera. Uh, not loving that for me. But it's not a bad one. Um, again, this was a really inexpensive dress from Shein. It'll probably, actually, I should probably wear it to work now that I think of it. Um, because that feels right for me. But yeah, so a decent one. I mean, oh, that's a bit odd. It does fit a bit weird in the shoulder. I'm gonna try to link everything in the description if I can find the link still, um, if you like the look of it. Uh, but yeah, the shoulders are a bit weird. Uh, like, if it was just like, I know that that doesn't look great, but that would solve everything. Although I'm also a little sweaty, so maybe it's just sticking to me because of that which is not great for a summer outfit because I bought these just for the summer, so it is what it is. I'm doing my best here. Um, yeah, not certain how I feel about the overall fit, but I do like the color, and I do like that it has eyelets. The next thing I have already worn, it's amazingly comfortable. It is literally just a tank dress it's like a really loose fit it also has that like ruffle detail so I don't know if that's in everywhere but it's definitely in it she and and Old Navy uh, but this is just like a t-shirt material it's really comfy um, I did I wash all of them before I wear them and they didn't uh, leak dye even the black colored ones which is kind of awesome um, but that one's a really comfortable one and it's nice and loose fitting so when it's hot like this the air can flow so that's a good one I love this one um, it is a tiny bit too big I don't know if you can see that I don't again I can't see the camera um, but I love this one it's incredibly comfy it's loose fitting like that other one is um, because I lost a bunch of weight, I actually don't really know my size, so I just got everything in a large from Shein because I assumed even if it didn't fit, it would uh, it would be fine. I figured it would be good enough. Um, but yeah, I love this one. The buttons are fake. Um, they're just they're just on there for decoration. 
This is comfy. I wore this the day after I got my second COVID vaccine when I was basically dying from Moderna. So I do know for a fact that it's comfy. You can wear it when you feel like you're dying. I love this dress. Um, I hope it lasts until next summer. It is so comfy. It's made of just like t-shirt material. This is a good one. I'm a fan of this dress, hands down. This is probably my favorite thing that I got so far. Next, we just have a little sundress. Um, the material kind of feels like the, the parachutes from elementary school. So it has like that sort of parachute feel, um, but it's really, really, like it's polyester. It's light, it's fine in the heat. Um, and then the top is that like stretchy sort of thing. So for a sundress, this is really, really comfy, um, light, a nice dark blue, because again, I only wear like a handful of colors and blue is one of them. Okay, so now we have the kind of parachute material dress, which is clinging to me. Um, the straps are weird. I don't know. It's a very square neckline. I have to adjust the straps in some way. I mean, they're they're adjustable, so that's possible. But yeah, it uh, definitely clinging to me and not that flattering from the side. Uh, from the front, it's fine. Like this is decent, but from the side, it definitely clings to every part of me that I have been working to lose. So I'm not a fan of that. Um, but I do love the color and I love the pattern. I mean, it's navy. Can you see that it's navy? Navy with polka dots. Knee length. I can't figure out how to make the camera show all of me, so this is what you get. Um, and I'm sure my head's cut off, so I have my job. Um, but yeah, I think this is a really, I mean, again, everything I bought was less than $15, so it's not like I'm expecting the world. Um, plus it's Shein, so I'm not expecting high quality. But I don't mind it. I really like the color. Um, it's a, it's also like that stretchy material at the top. So it's just a matter of getting used to it, I think. I don't know. I'm doing my best. I just wanted something because it's hot. I mean, at the very least, I know it's a cute sundress. Um, made of parachute material, so if I uh, need to fly a kite or something, I have this. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I did get swayed by Pinterest and TikTok and all of the people that decided cottage core was awesome. Um, and so I bought a little cottage core style dress. Just got the ruffles on the sleeves. It's literally well, it's nice that I bought the same dress. Um, just a red and white polka dot, cottage core style. I just thought it was really, really cute. Um, and it, like those light, the air will breathe. It's kind of nice like that. I do think that while it's cottage core, it's a lot more like barn core, because I could see this one with like cowboy boots. Okay, uh, sleeves are a lot. That is, that is a ruffle. Um, I did buy this because I thought it looks kind of cottage core, and it does, uh, but it also really looks farm core. Call me Daisy May, I am gonna sell you some turnips. I like this though, um, I like red. I wear a lot of red. I don't know if red shows up well on camera, so I don't know. I'm sure I've worn red plenty of times in videos, but yeah. I like this one. I have no complaints. It, uh, that is, that is a ruffle. It's maybe a little rougher than I would have anticipated, but the waist feels fine. It fits. The back has some stretch to it. It does have ruffles for days, but that's, that's what I got it for. I got it because I wanted to be a cottage core bitch, so now I am a farm core bitch instead. I like it. And then, uh, once again, that like ruffly thing there. Um, this also has eyelets like the other one. And then ruffles around the sleeves. It's just a 
cute little basic black summer dress. I wear a lot of black. I wear a lot of black. Okay, so this is the first outfit. Um, it is a dress. I have a mirror right behind the camera, so I'm probably not gonna be looking at you at all. I honestly God don't know how this looks because my glasses aren't on, so I can't see the viewfinder. Um, I don't know how I feel about this one. Like, I love this. I think it'd probably be good for work, actually, with a blazer over it, because I work at a jewelry store, so we have to wear blazers. Um, it's a bit, okay. I hate turning to the side. Uh, I hate that, but it, like, tents out. I mean, it'd be great if you're bloated, and I usually am, because uh, it definitely won't be form-fitting to show that. It fits kind of weird. Uh, I mean, I did pay like $10 for it, so what am I expecting? Not expecting the world. But yeah, a bit odd. I do like it, though, um, for a summer dress. It's got eyelets. It's cute. It's black. I mean, I'm not, I'm not asking the world for the $10 Shein dress. And it's not see-through, and I love that for me. But yeah, that's this one. And these are so out of my comfort zone. Um, I try to push myself out of my comfort zone. I try to do that as often as possible. I try to... I try. Um, I would never, ever have worn these before. But they're two-piece sets. So the top is this little crop top, which I, I never wear crop tops. Um, it's dark green, which I thought was really nice for my hair. And then the skirt is actually really long, but it's like got buttons on it and it's got like a slit in the front. Um, I just, I really, really wanted to try a two piece set with a crop top, even though I rarely, oh, I've never worn a crop top. I can't think of the last time I wore a crop top. Um, I'm sure it was high school. Okay, please be kind because I am insanely out of my element in these. I mean, I lost over 30 pounds. I don't show off my body in any way. Um, I basically dress to hide. I never dress to reveal. Ooh, it. Um, but I wanted to try a two-piece set because I saw everyone doing it and I thought, you know, if everyone was jumping off a bridge, I sure would. So, um, I got this one. I don't know how I feel about it. This is loose. Uh, there's there's some room there. It's it's stretchy. It's got some stretch, so this would be a good one to eat a lot of pasta in. Um, the top isn't bad. Like you can really see my scar. Um, well, I can. I don't know if you can on camera. If I had a surgery. It, it's fine. Um, with a lot of scars. But yeah, I don't hate it. Um, it's kind of cute from the back. It's not too, too revealing except for my scar. Uh, yeah. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know when I will wear it. But I really wanted to try something a little different from my norm. So, yeah. The top doesn't stay straight, which is probably a my body thing. But who knows? I mean, I don't hate it. And when it comes to clothes shopping, that's what I aim for. I don't hate it. And then the other one is also a two-piece set, and it's got like this little, this one's definitely cottage cord, the like puff sleeves, and then this skirt that's got like the layers in it as well, and like these are both really, really light materials, so. Okay, and then there's this one. So I definitely was like, ooh, that cottage core, and the top is called the Bridget Bardot top, and I was like, oh, I know that name. Um, I actually think I like this one more than the other one, even though it definitely reveals more skin. Um, God, that scar is right on. Just, you can't hide the scar with these. Uh, and I know I should be comfortable with the fact that I lived, but you know, it's a little harder. <laughs> I think it looks better off the shoulder. But everyone in the pictures on the website had it up. Also, just fit issues. Uh, it does that. Um, 
the whole way around. Oh uh, yeah. And I don't think that's a me problem. I think that's a this shirt problem. But it's surprisingly not as see-through as um some of them. So I don't know. I like the length of the skirt. It hits just above the knee. I like the color. <laughs> I'm just so out of my element in this that I really, I don't know how to review it for you. Uh, I wear clothes to hide. I don't wear clothes to show off, so I really don't know. Um, my review is that it's poorly made, but again, Shein, so you get what you get when you buy from there, and I would love if I had the option to buy not from there. Um, and then this, I just kept seeing people wearing like the overall dresses, and so I really wanted one, but this one, it turns out, is corduroy, so it is a lot thicker, and this is probably more of a fall thing, but it would look really cute with boots and like some tights. Uh, I don't know that this is for the summer, but it was worth a try. The thing about Shein, there are a lot of hits and misses on that website. Um, I do read all of the reviews, like none of this stuff was bought without me obsessively reading reviews to try to see if they liked it too. And this is the last thing. Now ideally I would wear it with a t-shirt on underneath, but I did not have that. So here we are with um, the shirt from another outfit, which leaves a lot to be desired. Um, definitely way too thick for summer. This is definitely a fall item. Um, it'll look really cute with boots and like pantyhose or something um, and a long sleeve t-shirt but I don't mind it. Um, it's a little bit gap so I'm not gonna not gonna show you guys because yeah inappropriate. Uh, potentially I could have gotten it a size down but I would rather buy too large and have roomy clothes because that's just who I am. It has pockets his pockets so that's an exciting find but yeah I really wanted like a overall type thing or pinafore type thing um so I got this it's uh too thick for summer it's definitely fall material it is definitely fall material if you don't mind it um yeah let me know in the comments if you like it all right so that was my haul from Shein um we should not hate on people who can only afford to shop at Shein. I don't have thrift stores in my area. Um, not really. The ones I do have actually cost the same as retail. Um, so this is the only way I could afford new summer clothes. I don't think that we should be hating on people uh, because that's just that you have the privilege to be able to access things. Um, and I don't really want to rant about capitalism. I will. Uh, let me know if you want to see that because uh, I do have a video on TikTok about how we should eat the rich. We have chosen Bezos. Um, we just need ideas on how to fatten him up so he's delicious instead of, um, he just, he looks a little skinny. He's a little skinny so we need to Hansel and Gretel him up. Um, yeah. But let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know if you liked any of the things. If you want me to see to see me try to thrift shop, like I'll do it. I'll just it's expensive here. Um, but if you want to see that, I'll do that. Uh, I'm trying to branch out a little bit from opening boxes. Uh, my original content for this channel was going to be me traveling around to like touristy things and showing you affordable touristy things. But uh, pandemic. So this is what we have for now. I'm doing my best. I'm trying to adjust now that the world's opening again. Um, so let me know what you want to see, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!